rainy Edwards bumping down highways from the Springfield KOA in Rochester, Illinois. I didn't connect everything last night or put the slides out. It was just an overnight. So I just connected the electricity and I did put the flamingos out because they needed a break. Um, and neat little place really hard to get to. Did you see that little bridge that I crossed? I was really worried. Miles of one lane road and then I get to this tiny little bridge and I'm thinking, am I gonna collapse the bridge? I finally made it here after having to make uh, a turnaround. Thank goodness I didn't have the tow car behind me because I passed the road to turn on. The KOA sign was really tiny and, <coughs> and I didn't see it until after it was too late. So I took the next road to the right looking for a driveway, pulled into some random person's driveway and backed up and turned around and made my way back. And that's before I got on the one lane road. Um, when I pulled in, after making it across the bridge, I tell the lady at the desk, oh, that was really hard getting here. She said, yeah, when you're driving a motorhome, it is. Glad I didn't have my car. And it was a long way from the interstate. So I got here, I had an easy, easy pull through site with this great little patio and a view of the field and the woods and perfect place for an overnight stay. I built a fire in my little fire pit that has a grill top on it and uh, needed to cook some chicken that I had already thawed out. So I hadn't cooked on wood um, like this without my best friend. Well, actually I did it once in Colorado. Um, but so I called her, had a chat with her on how do I know when the fire is ready and how do I cook it? turned out perfect and I met my neighbors behind me who were also here for an overnight. Ilsa is a retired physician. She and her husband are on the road and they are heading east eventually to get to Florida but super super nice people. I hope to see them on the road again. Their steps had decided they weren't going to work anymore on their motorhome. So they had to get a new pump and find a guy to install it. They got that all done. Been there, done that. When I was out west, the laying on my back with my flip-flops and painted toenails and the cowboy boots that showed up to help me. So um, I'm glad that they got it fixed and they're back on the road. Now I need to get disconnected here. I think that I will be boondocking in a Cracker Barrel and then tomorrow I should make it to Ballard's Family Campground near Joplin, Missouri. So gotta get busy. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you in a little bit. I hope you're joining me on the road. It was super, super easy to get disconnected and pack up. I just needed to pull in my jacks, uh, pull in the awning, and pick up the flamingos and disconnect the electric. And I am getting on the road. One challenge I'm a little frustrated with is that I called about ordering a hitch for a new hitch to replace the one that broke um, for my RV. And I was told by the dealer that it was not covered under warranty. This thing was only seven years old. It totally broke and was fractured on the other side. So I'll have to deal with that a little bit later. But for now, I'm gonna hit the road rolling. So glad you're joining me for my trip. Okay, here we go down this little one lane road again. A special attention to the bridge we are going across.
Illinois. I was totally wrong. I just needed to get on some back roads. Wasn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love the country. I love the, the miles of fields and I, I just love nature and being outside. Oh my gosh, who knows? Maybe after I finish my next five, whoa, I don't have five, I forgot, I only have four. Maybe after I finish my next four states, my future husband will find me and he will own some big farmland, some ranch, some something with lots of space. Oh my gosh. I could totally see uh, living and working on a big farm, uh, but I want it to be in a small town. A small town that truly has community, uh, where you can be involved and be part of the community. I, I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of what I have found on the road with the RV lifestyle. People that actually care about you and doing for others, or maybe be my future husband will own a campground that would be fun too and just dreaming oh and he can't want boring because the good lord knows my life is anything but boring my life promises adventure and excitement every day Sometimes you're the windshield and sometimes you're the bug. Today, I seem to be the windshield. So I decided to pull into this rest area to try to clean the bugs off my windshield. Eh, it'll give me something to do and I'll be able to see a little better. I'll be back. It's hot out there, but I can see out my windshield now. These truckers all probably think, who is that crazy woman and what is she doing? So I got it all cleaned up, grabbed a piece of my favorite candy bar. I love these Milky Way Midnights with dark chocolate. Going to have a little snack and get back on the road. Look at this bridge. This is kind of cool. 
like these cables. The suspension bridges are usually my favorite anyway. I gotta go fill up myself, but that's okay. Okay, that was pretty easy in and out, and I just met two of the coolest women. One of them is a school bus driver. Um, so much fun to chat with them while I was filling up. I encouraged them to do whatever it is they fear and told them they could do it too. Now I'm getting back on the road so we can get to our final resting place for this evening. find out and tell you later but I don't see any RV or bus parking there was a sign pointing this way so I'm here and I am so looking forward to having a vegetable plate tonight I'm gonna get Emmy out take her for a walk and we're spending the night at Cracker Barrel Jenny Rainey Edwards on the adventure of a lifetime. I hope to see you on the road. I'm right where I belong.